The Ben at one point comes to the comes to the decision that he needs to move on, and I call this the Renaissance period. So the Ben goes to college and decides to become a teacher, and that the Ben could not have evolved to this without some divine intervention, which we call Kristen. In the end, I I do want to say Ben, you know, over the past almost 13 years. You have not only been a very good friend to me, uh, but you, you truly are my brother. Not just a brother-in-law, you are my brother. I love you two very, very much. And uh, congratulations on your very special day. Kristen, you have brought us so much joy throughout our, your, your life. You grew up to be a beautiful, kind, and smart woman. And I am proud to be your dad. I'm glad you found someone that loves you and makes you happy. Ben, we are both happy to welcome you to our family. We hope you continue to love and respect my daughter as you do now. I appreciate that you've always been respectful to both of us. I admire that you are helpful and not afraid to get your hands dirty. Ben and Chris, we want to wish you all the love, happiness, and prosperity in the world. I love you guys. Now everybody, let's have a good time and celebrate this wedding. Love you guys. I've known Ben most of my life. During the school year, when we rode the bus, he would always bring books on things like military aircraft and supercars to show me. And then, and then he'd quiz me on. Uh, the planes of the cars looks at specifications the next day until I got them all right. Thinking about it now, it's no wonder he became a teacher. Ben enjoys challenges, has a deep curiosity, is always looking for adventure, and has a distinct eye for the finer things in life, as you can tell from his bride. <laughs> and then teaching is what ultimately led Ben to Kristen. Kristen's Aunt Celine had a son in fifth grade, and she was pleasantly surprised that her son's teacher was very attractive. And then she showed him a picture of what Ben described as a dark-haired French-looking girl <laughs> posing on steps in Italy. Ben, ben can be very particular when it comes to the ladies. And as a teacher, he mentally prepares tests and carries out these attributes through his endeavors, which includes settling down with the right person. I'd like to raise a toast in the newlyweds, the most precious possession that ever comes to a man in this world is a woman's heart. Good luck, you guys. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good, I feel this way. Okay. If anyone doesn't know who I am, I'm Kristen's little sister. <laughs> Kristen has always been an amazing big sister to me. She's been my role model, protector, and best friend for 25 years. Ben, I want to thank you for showing my sister the love and happiness she truly deserves. I want you to know that I love you and I'm truly excited to have you be a part of my family. <laughs> Please join me in raising a glass to the happiness of Kristen and Ben. Cheers. Kristen received this ring. Kristen received this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And Benjamin received this ring. Benjamin received this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Imagine me and you, I do I think about you day and night It's only right to think about the girl you love And hold her tight, so happy together If I should call you up, invest a dime And you say you belong to me And ease my mind, imagine how the world could be So very fine, so happy together Toss the dice, it had to be The only one for me is you And you for me, so happy together It had to be The only one for me is you And you for me So happy together It had to be the only one for me is you 